What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with today's second video. And in today's second video, we're gonna take a look at what seems to be everyone's favorite coin lately for some reason, Algorand. And we're gonna take a look at why we are actually back in a bullish pattern after getting a fake out to the downside, all right? So if that sounds good to you guys and you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go press the subscribe button right down below, all right? Appreciate all you guys that take your time out of your day to do that. Now let's not waste any more time, all right? Let, let's. Let's just jump right on to the four hour chart, shall we? So you guys can see, right? Before we had our major dump over the last couple of days, we were in a bull flag, okay? Which was the top was constrained by this top green line and the bottom was this bottom green line. You can see we actually broke down below it, right? And then came back up and now you can see our last wick. We are now back in this bull flag, all right? Perfect. We are also back above our 200 four hour EMA, which has been huge for Zill, uh, sorry, for Algo. I said Zill because that's my last video I made. For Algo, um, you know, within the last, uh, really the last um, two months or so, okay? But we're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. But um, yeah, we're back in our bull flag. So if we continue to get a bounce here, we know our measured move out of our bull flag is from our flag pole, right, extrapolated at our possible breakout point, which I'll put it somewhere around this area if we were to break out somewhere over there, uh, would put us approximately right towards about $2 even, okay? So that's our possible breakout point if we continue to get a bounce here and break to the upside out of our bull flag. But that doesn't necessarily have to happen, right? We could continue down here, but what I like to see, right, on our four hour time frame, you can see how important this yellow line has been all the way down um, really till about December 20th. You can see we've gotten uh, six touches on this line and we've just made our seventh touch right here, guys. And you can see also where that line was, was perfectly, right? If we look left here, let me switch to auto and let's look left, right? Where did that four hour, uh, four hour uh, wick right down to, right? It wicked to our dead cat bounce, right? We, when we dumped dead cat bounce and then fell, that's exactly where we just retested our old resistance now as new support right here, all right? So perfect, perfect, like literally lines up perfectly with our, our short-term support and our long-term support matching up perfectly, right? You, you cannot get more perfect than that. Also, now we're back above our 204 hour EMA, which is huge, right? You can see we broke down below it. It was our resistance, pumped back above it, and now at least temporarily, we wicked down to it and got a nice bounce off of it. So we'll see if we can hold that. Now, looking back down here, you can see why I have that 204 hour EMA and this yellow line drawn. You can see all these circles down here are each time we, we take a dip, we either hold one of two things. We either hold the four hour 200 EMA or we hold our yellow support. You can see right here, four hour EMA, all right? EMA, EMA, yellow support, yellow support, EMA and yellow support, uh, EMA, right? EMA, yellow support, and now it's our yellow support. And then it was our EMA, all right? So you can see how important those two lines are and why I think us holding these as we continue up here, which I think is eventually going to push us out of our bull flag if we extend these down. Uh, what's most likely is gonna happen here is we maybe get a pump up here. Our 200 EMA comes like this, and uh, you know we eventually got, got, a break, got a break out of here, I think, um, to the upside, all right? Which would probably give us another week or two of consolidation in here um, till about uh, till about the beginning of March, all right? So that's our four hour chart, guys. That's what really what we're looking at here. Um, we don't wanna break below either of these two lines here or this green line as support, all right? So that's our four hour. Now let's switch to the daily. What do we have going on in the daily? Well, we're really just back in our big rising channel. You can see where we connect this with this one, this one, and it was our support, right? We back tested it as support. I thought that was bullish at the time. We got a bounce off of it and then we dumped right back in. I mean, that's really just because the crypto market in general got a big, big correction, which was which was very much needed, all right? From our top to our bottom, Zill corrected about 51%. So if you were able to buy this dip, guys, you were about to, you bought, you would have been able to buy double the amount of algo that you did down here than if you FOMO'd up here. So that's exactly why you should be buying these dips when you can. Also, we do have uh, four hour bullish divergence, right? Lower lows on the RSI, right? Higher lows in price action, okay? So 
we are getting some sort of signs of a reversal point here. And you can see the massive wick we got here, which shows that we had massive dip buying uh, going on right here from big market movers, okay? So that that's really the daily chart, guys. I mean, just you guys know looking left, we had our big support line. Um, we have our bullish divergence going on here. Um, we're trying to get back above this resistance. If we can get back above resistance, that, that's when I'm gonna get super bullish. Uh, but until then, we just have to wait and see on the daily, all right? Let's switch to the weekly. You can see our last pump up went right up to our 618 Fibonacci and pull back. And right now, um, you know, we pull back to our 236 Fibonacci, which also you guys know lined up with our uh, local high back here. And then uh, really our next resistance is about $2, which matches up exactly perfectly, guys, with our measure move bull flag, right, out of our bull flag. So we got to keep watching that. Um, that that's really our next target is somewhere around that two dollars mark or a little bit above two dollars at 205 you can see we cooled down our, our weekly rsi right i was getting really, really uh you know worried of a pullback when we were getting up to 90 on the weekly rsi that's usually a sign you're going to get a pullback at some point but now we've cooled off our weekly rsi and we're all the way back under um you know in our normal zone at about 65 on the rsi so that's good to see that, that that's going to make us have room to run if we do get another big move up to the upside within the next couple of weeks, guys, all right? So that's really all I have on Zill, right? We're waiting to see what we do in this bull flag. Do we hold in this bull flag? Do we break these supports and continue lower? I don't think we continue lower. It's certainly possible, but I mean, we already gotten a 50% dip, right? I mean, that was the time to buy. If you didn't buy, now still time to good buy, right? I mean, it's really, it's still down about 39%. So that's still a great buying opportunity if you still can uh, for our good friend Algo, okay? But let's look at the Bitcoin dominance, right? Bitcoin dominance, looking like Bitcoin might take the reins for a little bit, all right? You can see we wicked down to this crucial red line and now we might be continuing back up to the purple line. You can see every time we hit the purple line, right? We usually get a big altcoin rally. Um, we test uh, somewhere down below, right? And you know, what is going on next? I just noticed actually we have, um, some sorts of support going on here over, over the uh, longer term. So it would make sense right now if we were to get Bitcoin to have a relative um, bounce back up to the upside here, guys, okay? So we'll keep watching that obviously, but that, that's at least what it's looking like to me in the uh, in the kind of the short term here. I'm gonna keep this line drawn because this makes a lot of sense to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, look for Bitcoin to catch up on alts in the short term, guys, at least till we come back up to um, to retest the top of this uh, resistance line. And then maybe alts take the reins and eventually we're gonna get some type of breakout here in my opinion, whether it's to the upside and Bitcoin soars or to the downside and all coins have their day. Probably at the end of the cycle, um, you know, we see Bitcoin probably have its day, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so that's the video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys like, like my content, all right, Go, go support me on Patreon. I appreciate all you guys that take your time to do that. We're already up to 19 patrons now um, when we just started this on Sunday. So in three days, we're up to 19 patrons. So appreciate all you guys that came out to support me, right? It's $1 a month. You get you get Discord benefits um, so for just $1 a month, all right? That, that's to weed out all the spammers and everything like that. And if you want to be a gold member, you get um, exclusive content. Me, I'm uploading three videos just this weekend, they're gonna have exclusive content. It's gonna be awesome content. It's gonna be even more in depth than my regular videos on this channel, all right, guys? And then the Moon member, so you get everything in these two, right? Discord benefits, gold member status, right? Access to all my Patreon content. And also, you get uh, one video per month on a coin of your choice, as well as all the Patreon, uh, all the Patreon content, okay? And you get all access to every video that I upload of every coin, all right? so. Guys, awesome stuff going on here. Go check it out. Uh, but anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. If you guys are new, press the subscribe button down below. Appreciate all you guys to take the time out to do that. And I'll see you guys in the live stream shortly. Peace.